Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how I made my saber altar boots and leg armor live on twitch.tv. Links are in the description. I started with a pattern I made by measuring my leg at various heights. I already had one. Make sure you have registration marks to line it all up properly later. To measure your body for foam, make a foam ruler to take into account the thickness of the material. Don't forget to label everything. I pinned my pattern to foam and traced it. Then, I cut it out using a sharp, new X-Acto blade. Using my heat gun, I flattened the foam to properly trace the lines. I folded my pattern in half and traced the center. I measured equal distances to line everything up symmetrically. Then I traced the natural curve of the pattern. These lines will serve as a guide for bevels I cut in. I carefully cut a triangular bevel halfway through the foam, and did the same on the curved lines. Using my heat gun, I gave the foam a curve for my leg. Then I used a glue gun to glue the bevels closed. Here's the result. This is called hills and valleys, and it even works in curves. Now I used contact cement to close the seam. When it was ready, I carefully aligned the seam with the registration marks. There are many ways to hide seams, but I decided to add a strip over it to hide it with my glue gun. Then I cut a new seam where I'd be getting in and out of my armor. Depending on how your body is shaped, you might be able to get your foot through the closed piece in certain designs. Then I tested the seam and size on my boot, stuffed with paper. Next, I used a piece of paper over the boot, pinned it on, and traced the center. Then I freehanded the detail by looking at it on the reference. Once I was done, I folded up the paper in half and cut it out. I color-coded the sections to know what to trace. I used parchment paper to trace individual parts since they overlap. I cut them out. Then I traced them again in full on another piece of paper. They were all then traced on EVA foam. And then cut out again. Now using the trace pattern, I marked off where each piece had to overlap. Then I put on a mask and some glasses and dremel the edges of the foam to round them off. I start with a sanding drum, and then pass again with a stone bit to smooth it out. I heat shaped all the detail pieces before gluing. Also before applying glue, I completed the attachment. I cut pieces of Velcro to the right size. I cut crisscrosses into the areas where I wanted the Velcro. Then I used a heat gun to open them up. Then I used a glue gun to connect the Velcro. I connected the ankle with rivets to allow for movement. Now I applied the contact cement to the details. Once ready, I connected it to the boot. I tested the Velcro to make sure it worked. Once most of the detail was stuck on, I patterned the toe and the top of the foot. I used masking tape and a sharpie. Then transferred it to paper. I connected extra pieces until I liked the pointed shape I got. I carefully did the hills and valleys technique there too. For extra security, I added extra connections. I pierced holes in detail brackets. Then I pulled a string through the hole with a knot at the end to block it. I primed it all with Plasti Dip and base coated it in black with acrylic enamel. Then I added the red lines with a paint sharpie. 
I shaded the red lines with black oil paint to give them depth. Once dry, I sprayed the whole thing with acrylic lacquer to get a glossy finish. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.